Welcome back everyone. We have a lot of history right here in our backyard and that includes the story of Bass Reeves from Crawford County. He was born into slavery, forced to fight for the Confederacy, then escaped and later became the first black man to serve as a U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi. Not only can you learn about his story at the U.S. Marshals Museum in Fort Smith, but Paramount Plus is debuting a new show about him tonight. Five News anchor Alexandra Burnley gives us a sneak peek. Bass Reeves was an extraordinary man who lived an extraordinary life at an extraordinary time in America's history. The story of Bass Reeves' life is getting fresh attention. Bass Reeves is definitely the hero's journey. If you've been to the U.S. Marshals Museum in Fort Smith or have seen this statue on Garrison Avenue, then you're probably familiar with Reeves. He literally came from nothing, born into slavery, uh, literally stole his own freedom and became one of the most respected lawmen in this region by the time that he passed away in 1910. Now Paramount Plus is debuting a new show about him called Lawman Bass Reeves. The story of Bass is incredible, from slave to one of the greatest lawmen that ever lived, and as the legend goes, the inspiration to the Lone Ranger. The show's creation is based off of the first two books of the historical fiction series called Follow the Angels, Follow the Doves, the Bass Reeves trilogy, written by Sidney Thompson, who received his Master of Fine Arts from the University of Arkansas. Thompson says Bass Reeves came up on his radar when Morgan Freeman once said in an interview that it would be a dream to play him. The way he was talking, I could tell he was instantly playing Bass Reeves at that moment, just talking about how nobody had given him any credit, writ written a story, and he was this this great lawman, uh, 32 years, uh, the most successful one of the Wild West. I doubt you're interested in a bunch of half-true stories about me. Well, true enough. Reeves was born without his freedom on a plantation in Crawford County, and as he grew older, his slave owner forced him to fight on the Confederate side of the Civil War. You will follow me and you will fire. One day he broke away and escaped and some historical accounts say he took refuge with native tribes and learned their languages. Reeves returned to Arkansas as a free man when slavery was abolished through the 13th Amendment and bought land in Van Buren. During those years, lawlessness plagued the region, so federal judge Isaac C. Parker of Fort Smith ordered more U.S. Marshals to be hired. You've got miles to ride, Godspeed the horse. Reeves broke many barriers in the later part of the 1800s at a time when black Americans still didn't have many rights. He is one of a number of important deputies who served during a very difficult time in a very deadly place in the country. Most of his career, he was a deputy U.S. Marshal. He had the authority to arrest and kill uh, and you know, shoot in self-defense and across the board, regardless if the people were were white, you know, of any race, he had the authority. And I thought that was a no brainer story. Now Bass Reeves legacy is going far beyond museums and statues with a new show that millions of people can watch. I'm Deputy U.S. Marshal Bass Reeves. Covering news where you live, Alexandra Burnley, 5 News. Lawman Bass Reeves is streaming now on Paramount Plus. Go ahead and check it out.